Poetry. Hey everybody, when I say poetry, you say out loud. Poetry. Out loud. Poetry. Out loud. Poetry. Out loud. So good afternoon. My name is Reggie Kibiko. I am a poet and a theater artist and teaching artist. If you don't know it, Poetry Out Loud is a national high school poetry recitation contest. Poetry Out Loud creates community and culture. Um, whether that culture is in a school, um, whether it's in um, someone's house as they're memorizing poetry, um, and it creates a connectivity to language um, in a way that no other sort of literary arts does. Our slam poets were invited to be the opening for one of the um, regional Poetry Out Loud competitions. And from that opportunity, we had another opportunity to do the same. And so over the course, our relationship and my understanding about poetry out Loud developed. I had the opportunity to adjudicate twice and um, we use the parts of the curriculum in our school-based programs and in our community-based programs and it's always been a desire of ours to have our own um, you know opportunity for our young people to, to compete and be a part of the Poetry Out Loud program. Just seeing them walk in have the opportunity to not just speak, but to also be behind the camera, to learn something new. I'm all about young people gaining knowledge and skills and sharing who they are and what they have. All right, let's all circle up. Um, the circle is good. In a circle, you've got to be able to see everyone. I briefly explain what Poetry Out Loud is, and I really try to clear the space so we could stand in a circle and I could just gauge students' focus. And once we're centered, we pass a clap around the circle. Let's just get the flow in one direction. So we just, let's just keep it this way and then we'll do it in reverse and then we can reverse it back. All right, so clap with me. We pass a pow with our voice because we want to energize um, the person next to us. Um, it allows students to think about their hands, that they are a pow poet with pow powers. And there is something about passing the pow, which is funny and humorous. So it really disarms a class. Pow! 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 Excellent! Part two. I want you to say a word. It could be an action word. Uh, it could be a person, place, or thing. Shake it off. Pow. Juggling. Pow. Wait for it. Pow. Yes. Crystal ball, pow. Pain, pow. <laughs> Vogue, pow. Love, pow. Mirroring is really pivotal um, because I encourage students to work in pairs to help each other memorize. So by looking at each other, it is an intimate act by complimenting your partner, that is also a very disarming uh, practice. Now with your partner and still with eye contact, I want you to move through the space but also be aware of the other two groups. The improvisation going back and forth with I can't do it, you can do it, 
you need to stay, I need to go, I love you, you don't love me. Um, it elicits strong feelings and elicits from those feelings vocal uh, choices and performance gestural choices. So to me that's also really important. You want to try to find what's the story in this poem. Every time you say it, you can explore uh, your vocal tones, you can explore your facial expression, you can explore hand gesture, right? You're trying to get that across. So I can't do it, you can do it. Is everybody ready? On your mark, get set, go. I can't do it, you can do it, I cannot do it. You can't do it, I can do it, I can't do it. You can't do it. I can't do it. I So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create conflict because without conflict, there is no drama. Without drama, there's no poetry. And poetry is an intense feeling plus imagery. So when you're reciting a poem from Poetry Out Loud or your own poem, you got to feel it. This afternoon, I'm going to take you through the shortest poem in the Poetry Out Loud database. Uh, just so you know that all of you can memorize a poem. So what I need you to do right now is to grab a writing utensil and a notebook or a piece of paper. And the poem that we're going to look at is called Ebb by Edna St. Vincent Millay. I know what my heart is like. Who's got it? All right. Go for it. I know what my heart is like. Excellent. I know what my heart is like. Break it down. I know what my heart is like. Perfect. I, know I think it's really is. incredible where you could take one tiny poem like Edna St. Vincent Millay's Ebb and you could get so many different stories, so many different meanings from each student's interpretation. Beautiful, beautiful. I know what my heart is like. I want you to draw a little picture by the line to help you remember. So it could be a word, it could just be a little doodle or a little picture. So a lot of this is memorizing. So by repeating it, it's going to help you to memorize it by giving a little visual. I know what my heart is like. I know what my heart is like. Since your love died. Since your love died. It is like a hollow ledge. It is like a hollow ledge. Holding a little pool. Holding a little pool. Left there by the tide. Left there by the tide. A little tepid pool. Drying inward from the edge. Drying inward from the edge. All right, beautiful. So this is what's going to happen. In groups of twos, I'm going to give you about 20 minutes to memorize this poem. So you're just going to go line for line. And I'm going to give person A 10 minutes. And even though person A is the accuracy judge, person A wants to also memorize it too. And after 10 minutes, um, you're gonna switch, and then person B will be the accuracy judge, and then we'll switch. Ebb. By Edna St. Vincent Millay. I know what my heart is like. Since, you, since your love died. It is like a hollow ledge. Holding a little pool. Left there by the tide. A tepid little, a little tepid pool. Drying inward from the edge. That was great. say that last part together. That would be cool. Terrific. So if you don't mind, you can just take a look and just let me know what poem you're thinking about memorizing. So we really looked at 
doing the performance exercises, and then also talking about how we critique, how we talk to students about their poem choices. The only thing I can do is make sure that they can have fun, that they can play with their lines, that we can take it over the top in rehearsal, but when it comes down to it, they're gonna find uh, an even balance where the poet's words are celebrated.